Technology today is progressing faster than ever, and with it, military tech necessarily progresses and evolves too. Top-of-the-line aircraft from just a decade or two ago are miles behind new systems being built today. So it's no surprise that many of the world's dominant military forces are working on new, advanced aircraft technology. Today, we'll be looking at seven insanely cool military aircraft of the not-so-distant future. 1. Japan's I-3 Jet Fighter Many of the aircraft on this list are announced concepts for 6th generation jet fights. Japan's I-3 fighter is one such project. Initially proposed by Japan's Ministry of Defense in 2010, it's intended to be a successor of the nation's present-day Mitsubishi F-2s. Interestingly, the 2010 report that recommended the development of some such advanced aircraft outlined a timeline that Japan seems to be successfully adhering to. Whereas many similar development projects have hit roadblocks, snags, and funding snafus, Japan remains on target for their intended launch of the I-3 around 2030. In order to be on track, they would need to start full-scale development around now, and the money for that development has been added to the Ministry of Defense's annual budget. This suggests that development of the fighter is on track. Plus, we know for a fact that, in 2016, Japan started using their Mitsubishi X-2 Shinshin aircraft to test out new advanced technologies for the development of the I-3. The plane itself is intended to be informed, intelligent, and instantaneous, true to the three I's in its name. It's expected to have advanced stealth technology enhanced with silicon carbide and metamaterial to use a next-generation high-power slim engine to be resistant to electromagnetic attack and to make use of cloud shooting, an integrated fire control system where targeting information is shared by a team to optimize targeting. But none of those features are quite as mind-blowing as its proposed weaponry, light-speed weapons using directed energy to kill electronics. That is, they'll have laser-powered weapons. And the I-3 is not alone in that development. One other 6th generation fighter jet is rumored to have laser technology. We'll take a look at that proposed design and the other 6th generation jet fighter craft in development as we go through this list of future military aircraft. 2. The U.S. Navy's FAXX One of several American entries on our list, the FAXX, not to be confused with the Air Force's planned FX jet, is a concept for a sixth-generation air superiority fighter for use by the U.S. Navy. The aircraft, of course, would be housed on America's many aircraft carriers for Navy use. While the FAXX program still has many factors up in the air, as of late 2019, the plan remained on track to build new jets as part of the Navy's Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, program. On that note, don't get it mixed up. The U.S. Air Force has a program of the same name, Next Generation Air Dominance, but they're two separate programs. Here's what we know so far about the FAXX. First, the craft will be part of what's called an MUMT, Manned Unmanned Teaming, a family of systems made up of communicating manned and unmanned craft whose capabilities are interconnected. This would be similar to the cloud shooting tech in development in Japan. The Navy is also considering optionally manned vehicles that could fly with or without an onboard pilot. The FAXX fighters are meant to replace the Navy's FA-18EF Super Hornets and EA-18G Growlers and complement their current slate of F-35C Lightning II and U-Class unmanned aircraft. While the new craft are still in a very early stage of development, the American Navy is hoping to have them functional sometime in the 2030s. There was some delay as they considered other options, but their findings were conclusive that new fighter craft would be required. So, whatever the final design may be, we can expect new military aircraft from the U.S. Navy in the not-too-distant future. 3. France's Future Combat Air System FCAS. Up next, we have a 6th Gen fighter concept unveiled at the 2019 Paris Air Show. Built by French jet aircraft company Dassaults, it's intended to replace their Rafale jets and the European Eurofighter. A collaboration with Airbus, it's anticipated to be fielded not just by France but by Airbus partner nations Spain and Germany as well. The jet itself is being called the Next Generation Fighter, or NGF, and like many of the other entries on this list, it's intended to function as part of a system of systems, specifically the Future Combat Air System, which will include remote carriers and an air combat cloud. The sleek, 
Clean Sheet Fighter Jet is a one-seater with an elevated bubble canopy, dual engines, modernized cockpit tech, and F-35 style air intakes. And of course, it'll be equipped as a stealth fighter with a dark coating and a shape design to minimize its radar visibility. At present, the craft is slated to fly its first flight in 2026. 4. Russia's MiG-41 and Sukhoi S-70 Okhotnik Russia is reportedly working on two military aircraft for future use. The Mikoyan MiG-41, a supersonic stealth interceptor which is considered to be between 5th and 6th generation in terms of its tech and style, and the Sukhoi S-70 Okhotnik, a 6th generation aerial combat vehicle and the first to be definitively designed to be operated solely as an unmanned craft. Russia has stated that the MiG-41, which is meant to be used to traverse Russia's vast expanse quickly for patrolling, will have stealth technology. The aircraft is intended to be capable of reaching Mach 4 to 4.3, cruise at Mach 3, and fly at high altitudes, between 12,000 and 45,000 meters. To be capable of these speeds, it would likely need to be equipped with ramjet or turbo ramjet engines. The current status of this future military aircraft is unknown. Russia has released no official designs or early concept models, but the initial aim was to have the craft in service by the end of the 2020s. The Sukhoi S-70 Okhotnik, a stealth heavy unmanned combat aerial vehicle, or UCAV, on the other hand, has a flyable prototype which has already performed a wide variety of tests. The Okhotnik prototype flew its official maiden voyage in August of 2019, and rumors are that it will be fully completed and brought into service in 2025. The prototype has a flying wing style aesthetic, has stealth coatings, and is powered by an AL-31F turbofan. It weighs about 20 tons and is capable of speeds around 1,000 miles per hour. It has two internal weapons bays, but no reports yet on what munitions it might ultimately be armed with. 5. U.S. Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft FARA Program Moving on, we have another U.S. program for future military aircraft. In this case, helicopters for the U.S. Army. In response to an Army initiative called FARA intended to modernize the Army's fleet, five different major aircraft companies have agreements to prototype vertical lift aircraft. Boeing, Bell, working with Collins Aerospace, Sikorsky, Karam Aircraft, working with Northrop Grumman and Raytheon Corp, and an AVX aircraft co-L3 Harris Technologies team. Submissions from the companies and teams are due in 2020, and so far, a few possible models have already been unveiled. The 360 Invictus by Bell and the S-97 Raider by Lockheed Martin, both of which are formidable aircraft. The new choppers will fill in the gap left in scouting when the OH-58D Kiowa Warriors are divested. The Kiowa Warriors are slated to be retired in the fairly near future. For that reason, the Army is hoping to start equipping units with the new models as soon as 2028. Since there are so many proposals being made at this time, it's hard to say what the final will look like, but we know it will be able to cruise at 180 knots or more, since that's the minimum required speed in the call for proposals. The Invictus 360 has a tandem two-seat cockpit, one General Electric T901 turboshaft engine, and a four-blade rotor. It will use fly-by-wire control and have a 20mm cannon gun turret beneath the cockpit. The S-97 Raider, on the other hand, is capable of carrying external weapons and up to six troops. Both have put an emphasis on sustainability and affordability in conjunction with their combat capabilities. If history tells us anything, whichever the U.S. Army ends up choosing, all the resulting models of helicopters will likely see the light of day with someone's military somewhere in the world, so it'll be worth keeping a close eye on the designs as they come out. 6. The Tempest, a collaborative fighter jet project a collaboration between the United Kingdom and Italy, with additional support from Sweden, the Tempest is the next 6th generation fighter jet project on our list of incredible future military aircraft. The Tempest first originated with UK-based company BAE Systems, but today includes work from Leonardo UK, MBDA UK Leonardo Italy, Rolls-Royce, MBDA Italy, Avia Aero, and Electronica Group, as well as BAE. Like most planned 6th generation fighter jets, it will be part of a greater network of airborne tech, sharing its data with the networked systems cloud and linking with the fleet of unmanned drones. The most recent model of the Tempest suggests it will be manned by a single pilot. With a conceptual prototype premiered at the Franborough Air Show in 2018, it's the UK's answer to France's FCAS project and is expected to replace the Royal Air Force's Eurofighter Typhoons as soon as 2030. 7. The U.S. Air Force's Next Generation Air Dominance Initiative Finally, but certainly not the least intriguing, we come to the U.S. Air Force's Next Generation Air Dominance Program. 
Excitingly, like the Japanese I-3, the proposed FX fighter jet is the other model that will use directed energy weaponry, but not just to scramble electronic systems. The FX is rumored to have true directed energy, laser shooting weapons. While the prospect is a little unnerving in terms of ramifications for our world, it will be cool to see military air tech move closer to the visions of sci-fi dreamers. The FX will be a long-range 6th generation fighter jet linked to an airborne system of robust tech. In fact, the NGAD's stated mission is to develop a family of capabilities that operate in and across the air, space, and cyberspace domains. In particular, it seems likely, at present, that it'll be linked with Boeing's loyal wingman drones, which the US Air Force has invested in. We also know that the USAF is putting a high priority on stealth, which contrasts with the Navy's vision for their own program and the FAXX. However, who exactly will be chosen to make the FX remains to be seen. Mock-ups and experimental studies have been made so far by a number of major players, including Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman. For the moment, the FX is without a solid timeline, but we know that the USAF doesn't want to pay to produce any more F-22s, so the race is on to come up with the next big fighter jet for the world's largest military force. Lastly, while details are few enough that it doesn't yet warrant its own entry on this list of aircraft, China's mysterious JXX has been making waves as a potential, if little known, future military aircraft. At present, China is still launching and working out kinks with its 5th generation Chengdu J-20 stealth fighters, but reports and official statements tell us that they have a 6th generation fighter jet in the works. At last update, they were planning on a 2035 launch of the manned high-tech aircraft. No official name has come out yet, so international observers have temporarily named the project JXX. We'll just have to wait and see what sort of new innovations in air combat China may have up their sleeve. And that's our list of 7 incredible future military aircraft. You can expect to see these intimidating airborne vehicles take flight in the next two decades, with some of them arriving very soon indeed. What do you think? Is airborne technology a good investment for these world militaries? How will the warfare of the future look? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe to get more insane information like this.